so guys welcome to our channel this is going to be the first video of the video series for, for designing roads and other structures with uh, civil 3d so before you start you have to do a few things so without much ado let's get started first go to the menu and click new okay so click new and then you will have a bunch of options to choose from choose the default one and i'm i will use metric template so let's go ahead and click open or just double click on that uh, particular template it will open that's a shortcut okay so now you, we are into civil 3d for road design or any structure designs you need data the ground data and all the structures all kinds of existing features that are within that limit of the project so for that you need to import points okay so import point uh, before importing point you need to you know clean data normally you get it from the surveyor let's go and open our excel file i have an excel file opened here this is a data you know when, when i receive data i i do certain checks so for, for first thing is to understand the data so for this this one what i see is a points number okay this one is description of the point this is northing i know it from the location where the survey is so this must be northing this is easting this is elevation and these are the date where it was recorded so this is probably not important so you can just delete it so either you right click and delete or or there's a shortcut you know you can do it so let's let's control z and do the another shortcut you click control hold holding control click minus okay so that also does the same so here you don't need these data so let's remove unnecessary data now what i need to check is if these you know northing easting and elevation are fine so let's perform a small check what i do normally is check maximum minimum and the average so so to just check if there are some outliers you know sometimes northing is easting you know in easting column and easting is in northing column there are some mistakes sometimes okay so let's go ahead and do this first let's see for the maximum max max in this data is how much so you can just click this one the one last cell and then go up and now hold your shift key hold your shift key and then click to the first point here so this way it selects the whole you see c1 to 1844 okay and hit enter it will go back to the last line where you have the maximum okay so the maximum looks fine you know the maximum looks fine now let's see let's uh, copy this okay and here I, I don't want this to be included or even if it's included it's fine okay so uh, for that you know it's 44 and this one is the one okay from c1 to c2 but we have to replace the function I, i'm now interested in minimum so let's say minimum and hit tab and hit enter okay so this one also looks fine okay it's not a big difference okay so this looks fine now i would like to know maybe average you can do or may not you know it, it depends upon you but uh, you know just check if uh, so you just do average you say average select the function and hit tab and now again either you can even you know like drag it up drag it press your keep your button and drag up it will just select but this way is you know a bit slower than the one i showed you earlier okay so you must know these stuff in the excel before you know you are so here uh, i see it looks fine it looks fine so again what we do is you know when when you see 
look at look at this one when i when i hover over that small you know grid button grid like icon it changes the sign and we just press mouse button and drag it over so now you will have maximum minimum and average for the easting as well okay do again the same thing and let's go ahead that's what we want to make sure okay you see here the maximum is 604 the average is 405 and the minimum is 275 here we see an anomaly okay so now i want to know where this is so let's do control fine okay fine just fine we are not replacing the data fine this is one of the most useful function you will be using and so let's type in 604.607 and let's find so here you see so these points appears you know find all so here i see these two points nearby and these are it appears from the description what i see is stations okay so these are the stations maybe it's far away and this point for me looks fine 